hi welcome to my channel this is golden substance with sonia flores and today we're going to do some wine tasting and spirituality Ooh -wee. so anyways i got the cabernet savon by apothic cab this is called apothic cab and i'm going to teach you the difference between fake wine and real wine and i'm sorry out there to bust any of your bubbles but if you're using like screwed off wine or wine in a pouch like you're just a disgrace to wine right there that is not weird real wine period point blank boo that is not real wine so take that cap screw somewhere else because already you're drinking cheap ass wine i don't care if it costs 20 dollars that's not real wine if it did not come with a corkscrew there's a certain taste that a corkscrew has that those cap bottles don't have regardless if it's in a glass bottle or not i know sometimes it make a difference when liquor is in a glass bottle versus a plastic bottle well the same thing you, who wants to drink a 40 with in a plastic bottle even so they have those i guess because so people can't crack each other's skulls with them or something but honestly it doesn't taste as good the flavor doesn't hold up so just the same like if you're drinking screwed off wine pouch wine you're not drinking real wine my friend this is the real shit right here they have a course screw it's kind of busted because some of it popped off because it was in the freezer i like to chill my wine i like my wine cold the first thing i go do is run and put it in the freezer when i get home but i'm going to tell you the three steps that always gets me good wine especially red wine i'm mostly a red wine drinker i don't really drink the light wine but maybe i will sometime for you guys it's just way too sweet for my preference so my preference and what i believe makes a real wine is a technique that been serving me good for years so one it must have a corkscrew must or you're drinking fake wine sorry cheap must it don't matter how much the price of the bottle as long as it has a corkscrew you're drinking real wine and then second you always want to know where it come from it always needs to say something like california or whatever you'll kind of get more feel of whose style of wine you like more um you know i personally i think california got some good stuff in there but i'm from cali so don't judge me anyways <laughs> uh the other thing is the year the third is you must have a year it's not real wine if it doesn't have a year i'm sorry it needs to have these three things um if it doesn't you'll be disappointed or you just like cheat stuff point period it must have the corkscrew it must have where it's from and it must have um the year on it the more it's age the better fine age fine like wine have you guys ever heard that saying before age fine like wine so we want a date on our wine all good wine comes with a date where it's from and a corkscrew and also the other thing you know you could have more of an idea if you're gonna like your wine it's a little story on the back of the wine it will tell you a whole description of what you're drinking just like um any good drinks or food or stories or even a dvd has a description of what you're about to watch before so does wine because i don't know how to pick wine i don't know how to drink wine well it's three simple rules to find and then the description on the back will let you know if this is the type of wine you'll like to try you know especially it's good if you have a allergy problem maybe you're allergic to cherries and a lot of red wines come with cherries so you would want to check out the back and see what it is some of them have chocolate i prefer the chocolate one this one is vanilla and let's see what else does this one have in here this one says it has tints of vanilla and silky smooth dark and fruity aromas so that's why i picked it sounds like a classic Cabernet Sauvon, and I do favor the Cabernet Sauvons. So let's get this bottle popped. Tap, tap. Excuse me, y'all. And then put this baby off. Always gotta have one of these when you're drinking real wine. Like I said, if you don't have one of these, then you're probably not drinking real wine, my friend. To keep it 100. Smooth, fuller bowl. See, there are descriptions all around that could tell you, you know, 
Real wines are made a certain way. You'll know once you get the feel, you start drinking wine for real. Look at that color. Look at that gold. That's how you want your red wine to look. And before we start, just like if you would go to any wine tasting and they had cheese or chocolate fondue, because I have been to real wine tasting. This is always what they teach you. Get a sniff. Get a smell of that aroma. Taste it with your nose before you taste it with your mouth. And this technique could teach you how to find a lot of good stuff by using your nose. You know why? Because the nose knows. I ain't playing about that. The nose knows. Start trusting your nose. You have that sense for a reason. Now use it. Smell. Okay, that aroma smells good. But I'll tell you what else using your nose is good for. I don't know if y'all like to go to the dispensary or not, picking the marijuana. You could know that that's good or not by the sense of your nose. You learn by your nose what you like to smell. You should smell your food before you eat it. You should smell your drink before you drink it. It also will save you from getting maybe poisoned or food poisoning. Maybe somebody didn't prepare it right. And your nose could save you because, damn, that chicken don't smell all the way done. You feel me? So start using your nose. You have that sense for a reason. It helps you pick out good stuff. I'm a very good when it comes to picking out stuff. Very good when it comes out to picking weed or wines. Why? Because my nose knows and I follow my nose, baby. It's all that is to it. So we're going to sniff that and we're going to take a nice little sip because that's how you drink wine. You don't sit up and this ain't a beer. We ain't chugging it. This isn't shots, shot, shot, shot. No, we ain't doing none of that. We're going to have some elegance and we're going to have some class. And if you need to clear up your navel cavity ever, you know, when it comes to smelling weed or wine before, get some coffee beans. Even some dispensaries have coffee beans out. What they have it out for, if you didn't know, is so you could take a sniff of that coffee bean and it will clear out your navel cavity just like um eating ginger clears out your taste buds that's why they have it on the side of sushi you know we, we get in culture so don't trip we gonna get cultured with sonya okay and i'm gonna show y'all so take a sip mm -hmm. remember lady sip and sluts guzzle and i bet you won't drink your wine fast no more drink anything fast for that matter i hope not Mm -hmm. taste that sorry for snapping that's rude of me okay I would say if this the description is kind of bold I would like to taste more vanilla in there I definitely smell the aroma of vanilla I love the smell of vanilla but I would definitely like to taste the vanilla more because a lot of the chocolate ones, you could taste it. I picked this brand in particular because a lot of people are familiar with this brand. It's not that inexpensive. I paid $9.99 or something like that at ABC Liquor Store. So, yeah, I would definitely like to taste the vanilla more in this. That's my only complaint, but it's a very rich, bold date. Their brand doesn't disappoint. I really like the one I tried with um, when it says age in barrels. That's some good stuff when they're age in barrels. Just depending on what you like to. I like the one with um, aged in whiskey. It has a little burning sensation. And then the other one that is aged in rum is pretty bomb too. But I'm going to come on here and talk about some other wines and stuff. Don't trip. I got you. Let me just scroll real quick. There's something I'm looking to share with you guys today. Like, I'm not going to take up all your time talking about wine. I would also like to talk about spirituality. I don't know if any of you are familiar with Yoni A's. Um, they were used, like, in the Chinese dynasty by, like, royalty and empress um, to tighten up their vagina walls. It also brought them great fortune, depending on what the stone was made out of that they put in there it's kind of like those steel um kettle balls um you know if you guys are familiar with doing kettles um that's tidying the vagina muscle and releasing it tightening and releasing it tightening and releasing it and it builds up muscles in your vagina yes your vagina has muscles for the JJ. i 
yeah let me not use the other words i normally use let's just keep it cute so this is a large one i was never able to fit this one i'm not sure what happened to the medium size one i remember ordering these on wish a while back ago and um the medium size one these are clean by the way um i don't know it disappeared but this is a small and this is a large and there's a medium size one i can never fit the large or the medium size only the small you might look at me and be like oh wait you look you can fit like no you know it depends on how tight or whatever is down there um also it helps like build the muscles up so you want to graduate from large if you fit a large to medium then to small and then small you're gonna stay right here and the whole goal too is be able to push it out like you're giving birth with your vagina muscles and that will show that you have really strong wall down there which we all want and also just with aging and stuff like that it's also just like exercising any other part of the body you have to exercise your vajayjay -jay muscles it's good for you in the long run and jade represents royalty riches i'm telling you start using a yoni stone even a few times a week it's gonna change your whole energy flow you're gonna vibrate different than everybody else and that just period you're gonna vibrate different and also i don't feel as it toxic as putting the steel and the other materials i feel this is more natural and it also aligns your chakras it will have you feeling good have you feeling like you're floating on call nine um it's also a bit uncomfortable i'm not gonna say it's not uncomfortable it is uncomfortable and it's not something you want to do every day you want to cleanse this properly you don't want to use too much chemicals when you cleanse it you also want to spiritually cleanse it and sanitizing cleansing both ways both ways after each use don't just like put it back in no you need to cleanse it and clean it every use because we have a lot of traumatic things that happen to our yoni we had a lot of bad experience maybe in the past i say everybody had bad experience but maybe you had unwanted love or maybe you had miscarriages or even the drama of going through our periods of your month as women and we bleed out you need to cleanse your yoni you need to do certain things and activities because your yoni is hurting like it's wounded especially if you have been active as a woman and childbirth and all that that's traumas out there she's alive and that's why she speaks it to you so if you have a heavy period flow maybe your yoni is trying to tell you something she has feelings too and we neglect to feel our yoni we neglect to hear our inner selves so more power to you if you're doing womb healing if you're doing self-love, but also self-love come with wound healing when you're a woman. We have to heal our womb. You're something special. Your room is a portal. You're a walking, living portal. Living portal, my bad. A living portal. You're a walking, living portal. Portal. I got tongue tied. But yeah, you need to honor that. That's sacred. That ain't no game, boo-boo. A sip to that. If you wash it, take another sip. Uh, you know, if you want to drink too, get on this golden substance and drink with me too. And let's, you know, talk about spirituality. I don't know if there's anything more you want me to touch on Yoni Eggs. I feel like there's so much more to it. I have braced the surface of it. But just remember, queens used to use this. Royalty used to use this. This will bring your whole chakra and alignment together just using this this has natural abilities gemstones are powerful i've seen them work firsthand for myself you know i cut the whole damn line in the in in the damn dmv with a fluorite crystal my friend how you do that everybody was mad they had to wait hours and hours and i just kept fading the crystal positive energy i kept telling i was gonna cut everybody else i wasn't gonna be here all day that the universe wasn't gonna play with my time i was gonna get in and out and you know what everybody moved the way i wanted everybody accommodated me the way i wanted sometimes you know manifestation is always good always good to think in a positive way but sometimes them gemstones add a whole other 
to your manifestation of things. Maybe you're already manifesting, but you know, start manifesting with gemstones, but also don't be ignorant to get a whole bunch of gemstones. Get gemstones that call to you and also research your gemstones. Is this what you need? Is there a purpose behind why you're buying this gemstone in the first place? So yeah, I just wanted to share these lovely gemstone yoni eggs these are raw well no these are polished so you can see by the polish the raw is more or less this colorful looks more like rock um if you could get raw it would be better but it's very hard to come by that because i'm assuming that would be rough with the yoni eggs so people have love i like the wealth abundance royalty these gen jade was like the one they mostly use for the yoni eggs. They didn't use like um, rose quartz and stuff in the Chinese diamond. See, I'm sure there was other cultures besides the Chinese that use these gemstones. But I would recommend. I would definitely recommend. But it could serve your mark purpose. You could get rose quartz if you're trying to attract love. Um, I would recommend the jade though. Everybody wants wealth. Everybody wants wealth and you want to feel like a queen and you just want to vibrate higher. This will get you to the next level of certain things. Jade. Jade. And yeah, some of these gemstones are going to cost you. They are costly. I feel like, you know, certain ones bring out different vibrations. Like if it's polished or non-polished, if it's in the raw. So for different uses, you don't have to stick them all up in your yoni either to get them to work wonders and magic for you you could also wear them put them in your bra put them in your pocket make little hoodoo bags or juju bags whatever you want to make with them you could have like little crystals and make potions and you know rub that on your skin every day you could give them back to the earth too and bury them as offerings there's so many things you could do with gemstones and they just bring the vibration higher they're powerful they're of the earth just like you and i they're golden substance baby and this is some golden substance too um now let me rate the wine real quick before we get offline but um how would i write this wine i'll throw a red wine this probably has wouldn't be like my favorite but I would give it a, a six to seven. For the price, it's decent. It's decent. For me, um, I like a little bit more sweeter senses. This is not that sweet, but it's not that um, bitter either. I don't like too bitter. Like I said, I would prefer if I could taste the vanilla more in this drink. Definitely. Well, thank you for tuning in. If you listen this long, you're wonderful. And I got some more things coming up for you guys. I even got some giveaways. And don't remember, you know, don't forget to remember to subscribe to this channel, you know. Click and subscribe. Uh, that's all I got for you today. Take care. Be blessed. The universe is always on your side. Tune in for more with Sonia Wine and Spirituality. Tiddaloo.